Hello, I'm Billy Core from Carolina Circle City. Um, it's been a while, hasn't it? <laughs> but I've been I've been sick for the past week and a half, and I'm just now getting better. In fact, I went to the Dixie Classic Fair this this morning um, over in Winston Salem. 22 year tradition, folks. Loved every minute of it. But and I did take video of it that I'll try to get up on YouTube soon. But I digress. Um, what you are looking at right here is the Dell Latitude CPI. It just says CP there, but I believe it's a CPI actually. Um, this was given to me about a month ago by um, some good friends of mine from Kentucky. And you've already seen a couple of videos of it. I believe I did an unboxing of it and a video of me installing Windows 98 on it, which it's still running to this day. Now let's take a quick look at this little machine here. Starting with the front. This is where the battery goes, but unfortunately it no longer has a battery. Um, I need to buy one off eBay sometime, mainly just to fill in that gap there. There's This is the modular bay. You can swap out between a floppy disk drive and a CD-ROM. Um, I do not have the floppy drive, but I do have the CD-ROM, which works just fine. Alright, the right side here. We have the right speaker, a uh, microphone jack, a headphone jack, and a line in jack. There's the power jack. Not sure what that's for. I think it's just for ventilation or um, style. <laughs> but, um, yeah. Okay, here's the back of it. We have a fan, printer port one USB port which um, on a computer like this actually does come in handy when you and when you flip down this cover right here you get a little port for a docking station which I might invest in someday a serial port VGA and a PS2 mouse and keyboard port and on the side here um, we have the PC MCIA reader. Um, we've got two slots here, and both work. And there's the hard drive caddy, the left speaker, and here's the bottom of it. Okay. Let's open it up. Looks brand new in my opinion. A few little scuffs, but it's, it looks nearly brand new. Dell Latitude. There's the power, hard drive LED, and the battery light, which is kind of useless right now. Designed for Windows NT, Windows 95. I wish it could, wish I could get Windows 95 to run properly on here, but it just doesn't behave well for some reason. And Intel Pentium MMX inside. <coughs> and here we have the keyboard, um, which for a laptop that's roughly 15 years old, I believe this is from around 1997, I want to say. This keyboard is in pristine shape, no shininess on it whatsoever. Got the touchpad here, which was not very common for its day, believe it or not. See. Oh yeah, and the specs of this is uh, it has a 233 megahertz Intel Pentium MMX processor. Uh, I want to say 64 megabytes of RAM and a 3 gigabyte hard drive. All right, now I'm gonna put the camera up on its tripod, plug this up, and we'll take a look at it running. All right, I got the um, everything hooked up now. Um, let's go ahead and fire it up. Ow! I would have preferred it without smashing my elbow. Oh yes, the CMOS battery is dead. So I better go into setup. Yeah, it thinks it's August 11th, 2000. 
Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's go ahead and set the time. Let's see, it's 4.01 p.m., so 16.01. Uh, seconds, uh, that'll do. And the date is October... Wrong way, October 6, 2012. Let's uh, take a look at the BIOS while we're here. Um, I was right, it does have 64 megs of RAM. Has a Neo Magic 2160 video controller with 2 megabytes of video memory. Audio controller is a Crystal Sound 4237B. And like I said, the hard drive's 3.2 gigabytes. No um, floppy drive, unfortunately. Um, maybe I'll get one for it someday. Okay. The boot settings. And that was my iPod Touch. It was a news bulletin from one of my local news stations. I can't get to it right now. That should be good enough. Let's go ahead and boot into Windows, shall we? And for it to fill the screen on a small resolution, you hold down FN and F7, and voila. And here we are. This is Windows 98 Second Edition. <coughs> Apparently, I have a CD in the drive. Let's go to Programs. Um, I, I even got some Packard Bell software on here, believe it or not. <laughs> See, I got Toonland. Best of Microsoft Entertainment, uh, Timon and Pumbaa's Jungle Games. I remember have I remember having the demo for that game on my first Packard Bell back in the 90s, but I never had the actual full game until recently. There's some Packard Bell stuff there. Hard Hat, um, a very good, entertaining construction game. Kid picks <laughs> and the kid story games from the Packard Bells. My first encyclopedia from the Packard Bell. The game that asked the oh so sensitive and strong question asked by philosophers for hundreds and hundreds of years What do we eat? <laughs> I got the living books here on here. Um, uh, unfortunately, um, it, it appears that Scholastic Books doesn't like living books being shown on YouTube, so I will not show them, unfortunately. Uh, SimCity 2000, Microsoft Bob, a few Microsoft games. Got Return of Arcade, Pinball Arcade, Revenge of Arcade, Eaten by Arcade, Murdered by Arcade. Oh. What was that? Oh. <laughs> Microsoft Fury Cube. Um, of course, one of my all-time favorites. Monster Truck Madness. Oh, and the Gus games from Modern Media Adventures. Sonic CD 3D. Some Sierra games. Sonic CD there. And a few other little things. Let's, uh... Well, first of all... Thing about Windows 98, it's very, very overprotective. 
And of course, we better play Canyon. I'm all still in that, and we'll see what that news bulletin is. Okay, I'm looking to see if I can find a game we can try out on here. Let's see. I guess I can show Kid Picks. I don't know if, I think I showed it to you in that Packard Bell Platinum 2240 video, but I might as well just show it again running on here. Used to love this game as a kid. You can hear the destruction options. Whoa. Let's undo it and try something else. <laughs> Was a weird one. This is a cool one. You can actually erase it into a different picture. A very, very old man with his head sticking out of a chair. Used to have nightmares like that. <laughs> and of course, my all time favorite one the countdown. That's enough of that. And believe it or not, I have Packard Bell Navigator running on here. This is Navigator version 3.9 that would have been seen on Platinums and Platinum Pros and later Packard Bell models from around 1997 or so. The reason I went with this one is because it's a lot easier to install on non-Packard Bell computers and older ones. Well, um, even by then they were still offering lessons on using the mouse, although in this case it would be a touchpad, which actually in this case I'm using this mouse. <laughs> but yeah, here's Navigator running on a Dell Latitude. <laughs> I need to get a life. Not. <laughs> I think I even put Planet Oasis on here, but that's pretty much useless nowadays.
But anyway, you've already seen Navigator 3.9. Show you another neat little game I've been playing with. The original SimCity Classic. called this town Latitudeville <laughs> and I just destroyed everything all because I tried to adjust the screen <laughs> Let's see if I can repair my damage Guess not. Well, yeah. Oh yeah. Um, I still need to do a video, re uh, a full review of this nifty little program. Who here, rem who here remembers this flop? No, I don't want to do a backup. Yeah, good old Microsoft Bob. Which I actually think was a pretty clever program in my opinion. I mean it's not not one of the best things ever made, but it's very fun to play around with, especially considering it's quite a time capsule. I did not mean for it to go there. Okay, let's change it to, the, to my private study. And as a little teaser for an upcoming video, I'm going to add a little object here that's a representation of a computer I bought this past summer at Value Village that I still need to do a video of. And it's a pretty, it's a pretty awesome machine that I've always wanted. Yep, that's right. I got an old Gateway 2000, uh, an old 486 one from early 1995. Video coming soon. <laughs> anyway, let's um, leave Microsoft Bob for now. And try our hands at some DOS games. Which, um, it actually does DOS games quite well on here. Okay. Uh, let's try this one. The Jazz Jackrabbit Holiday Hair 1995. Like I said, I don't remember playing this game as a kid, but it seems like it's one I would have played. And it's a very, very, very good game. I like all these old Jazz Jackrabbit games, actually.
It plays very, very nicely on here. This reminds me, can you, be can you believe Christmas is only roughly two months away? I tell you, this year has flown by. And it's already October, and from now until New Year's, this is my all-time favorite time of year. Just has to be said, it's it doesn't get much better than than fair time, Halloween time, Thanksgiving time, and Christmas time. That hurt in real life. Okay, I'm about to die here, so that's, that's my that's its way of saying time to time to go, Billy. All right, what next? I uh, guess we'll go back into Windows. And I guess I'll call it quits for now with this and shut it down. This is a very, very, very nice 90s era laptop. Um, I like it because it's perfect at, well, especially once I get a battery for it, for um, taking your vintage computer games on the road with you. I mean, uh, my, for those of you who have seen my Toshiba Satellite 2505 CDS, my, our family's first laptop. It's as nice as it was, well, as nice as it is, I still got it. <laughs> Needs a new hard drive, though. Um, it's not good at games, because despite being a Windows 98-era laptop, it has a passive matrix display, and any kind of computer game you play on it will make you incredibly nauseous, and you want, and it will make you want to cry. <laughs> I'm sorry but it has to be said. However, this one has an active matrix screen and as you saw a lot of most pretty much all of these games played smoothly and perfectly and I couldn't ask for more. And I'm very very grateful for this laptop and thank you to my friends who sent it to me. I greatly 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 appreciate it and hopefully I can start collecting a few more vintage laptops. So for now, this is um, Billy Core signing off on October 6, 2012. Oh yeah, and what do you guys think of my new keyboard? Model M.